हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज विश्वा सैताल आई होप यू आर डूइंग फाइन सो लेट्स सॉल्व टू दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर लीड कोड द प्रॉब्लम नेम इज डेटा स्ट्रीम्स एज दिस जॉइंट इंटरवल ओके सो इट्स एक्चुअली मीडियम दे टोल्ड इट्स हार्ड एक्चुअली इट्स मीडियम दो नॉट टू वरी सो वी विल डू लाइक दिस प्रॉब्लम गिवन अ डेटा स्ट्रीम इनपुट ऑफ नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ए टिल एन समराइज द नंबर सीन सो फार has a list of disjoint interval implement the summary range class okay so we have three methods which is summary range add number and get interval so in summary range what we will do we will initialize the empty stream okay and for add number we simply add a integer value to the stream okay we will do this also and get interval what we have to do we have to return a summary of integers in the stream currently has a list of disjoint interval from starting start till end okay the answer should be sorted by start okay so we will understand this problem by example so here we are given an example in this this is the command and this is the input okay what what is this command this is a method which is called out and this is the uh, value we will put into in add number i hope you got it here what is in input let's see what is the first command the first command says summary ranges in summary ranges they to initialize the object with empty stream so what we will do we will create an empty stream okay we will create a empty stream created empty stream and we have finished one command so what is the another command which is add number so what is add number here and number is yes, one so what we will do we will just go and add one to this list okay so we finished this command also and now here they told get interval so what is get interval here return the summary of integers in the stream uh, currently has a list of disjoint interval from starting and end in this case we have only one so what will be the start start will be one and what will be the end and will be also one so we are getting here 1 comma 1 so here also we are getting 1 comma 1 as a answer sorry not here this one we are getting 1 comma 1 has a an answer so we have completed this command now so now what is the another command here we already have here one so what is another command we have to add number what is the number here this is 3 so we will go and simply add the number here 3 okay so now adding the number we have completed this command So what is the next command? We have to get the interval. See here, they told a stream uh, has list from starting till length. So what does this mean? So from if we had here one comma two comma three, we can say it start from one and it ends at three. But in this case, in this case, two is missing. Two is missing. so we can say we have 1 comma 3 as a starting and ending point so what we can do here we will say we have we have two intervals what are the intervals here we have starting from 1 comma 1 and another interval is 3 comma 3 we have three in two intervals here so we have two intervals here so do we get here two intervals Yes, we are getting two intervals, which is one comma one and three comma three. So what we did here, we completed this command. Okay, we completed this command now. So what is the next command? We have already one comma three in the stream. What is another command? We have to add a number, and what is this number? Which is seven. So we'll go and add seven here. This is also a same case here. we will add number and what is the next command get interval so this is also same case 
is no continuous that is from 1 2 3 is no continuous so it shall it will start at 1 it will end at 1 only it will start at 3 it will end at 3 only and it will start at 7 it will end at 7 only so what we can say we have here three interval so 1 comma 1 3 comma 3 and another one is 7 comma 7 okay so we are getting a three interval so here we are getting three intervals okay so we have completed this command now so what is another command now what is another command what is another command is add number now what is the add number here two now two came so what we have to do it should be a sorted array so they told it is a it should be in sorted array so what we can say we will add one here two here three here and seven here so now see here here one two and three we can say we can start at one and interval will go on till three and seven is seven seven comma seven so we have here two intervals start point at one it will it will it will be going on till two and also three so we can say it will start at one and end at three and it will start at seven it will end at seven so we have here two interval do we get here two interval yes so i hope you got it because here continuous is there one two and three so we can we can say we can take the first element and the last element and we can say it's an interval from one comma three so we are getting here two interval see we are getting a two interval and we finished with this command also we finished with this command and this command also so what is the next command here this is a what is the next command here next command is add number what is the number here which is six so we what will go we will go add six and we have already added seven here so now here the interesting case is here so starting point of one uh, for first is one interval and it will it will take two and three so ending point is three it will start at one and it will end at three and another interval is it will start at six and end at seven okay so we are getting here one comma three and six comma seven so we have completed this command also so has we have completed this full output i hope you got till here how we got the output and everything so let's now what we will do we will try to now we will code this so what we have to do here we have we take this here now what data structure we have to use here we have to use three set to make this possible so so why we will use i will tell you three so what we will do three set and it will be integer okay and i will name him as tree only okay so we have created a tree set here so here what did what is the first method here we have to initialize the object of an empty stream so what we will do here we will just initialize the empty string which is new and i will name him as tree set okay we have what we did we have completed this method now now what is another method we have to add the number so what is this here we have to simply add the value so what we will do here we will just say tree dot add the value okay so we have completed both the method here so now we have completed this method and this method the remaining is this one get interval so for that what we have to use i will just room in i can't mean let it be i will first what i will to do i will in, i will use a data structure called array list array list okay and inside will be integer and i will name him as interval new array list okay we did it see here 
what what do we need here we need and and start point in this case and and start point is 1 1 if this was 1 2 3 4 was the case here the start is 1 and end is at 4 but here he, we have only uh, start it will start at 1 and it will end at 1 only so here starting at 1 only and ending at is also 1 so for that this one method in 3 to get the first element so what that is called dot first so what we will do we for what we will do we have to start from the first here so here if the case here here i hope see see in this last element what we have 1 2 3 6 and 7 okay so start we have to here and end this here so this is this interval will be 1 comma 3 this is right but in this case if we have 1 comma 3 here the start will be 1 and end will be also 1 so we can see here start and end point in some interval are equal so what we will do here we will do here start is equal to tree and we will use the function called first so it will take the first element of the tree okay and we use uh, and will be also same in some interval it will be same in some interval it will be not but we have to consider both so we will do uh, we will change and after while after after uh, if we find some if we find the continuous array we will change it so, but in in this case we will say it will be equal to the starting element now what we have to do see in this example we have we took we took this guy now what we have to do we have to iterate to this array now now what we have to do we have to iterate to this array so we will use a for loop and we will say int value iterating form iterating form 3 dot and we will use a method called tail end so we will use the uh, uh, what is tail end so what does tail end do tail end will take tail no tail end not tail set tail set what will what that was the tail set will do tail set will take uh, take uh, 2 3 6 7 and we will forget one so if we say tail one so it will only take this much 2 3 6 and 7 i hope you got it so what we will do tail set what i want you have to leave the first element we have to leave the first element and we have to go on increasing the element so if we leave the first element it will be now it will start from 2 3 6 and 7 i hope you understood this function what i am writing here writing a tail set and i have to say uh, here the starting case is one here so in this case here one two three four five six is there just assume this six is that tail so what i will do i will say just do one thing i want from two till six so i will use this function tail dot set uh, tree tail set i want from two till the end of the tree so two till the end of the tree this case will be this will start from two till the end okay i hope you got it now what we have to do now we have to check if in this case let's say in this case one two three and six and seven was there so we have to check if two minus one is equal to one then change the end value okay if 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 then change the end value so i will say i will use if condition here if value minus end 
will be equal to 1 then only change the value of n to the value why you are telling this because see here if we take 1 2 and 3 and i will start from 1 so here 2 2 will be that 2 minus 1 will be 1 so now end will be 2 okay now we'll go again here he will 3 minus 2 what is that 1 so it will change again here 3 and again it will be 7 so we will check 3 minus 7 is uh, not equal to 1 so what you will do it will give a output of 1 comma 3 and that that is what we required here we required here 1 comma 3 okay if that's the not case what we will do else if that is the not case what we will do we will say we will create a array here we will put it we will put this into the interval what we will do we will put that into the interval so what we will do we will say new int we created we have two things what two things starting and end point so start will be int sorry not int array 0 equal to start array 1 equal to end okay and what we have to do here we have to put that into the interval so what we will do array not array b is interval interval dot add array what i did here if the if see here what i did in this equation I will tell you I have 1 2 3 7 assuming we have this problem this uh, equation now so what I will do start will be here 1 and will be also here 1 I will add it to the array so what is the next one is 2 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so I will go and change the value to rent 2 okay and I will I will say what is the next value which is 3 3 minus 2 is also 1 so I will go and change I will go and change the value of n which is 3 and I will check for another one 7 minus 3 which is 4 which is not equal to 1 so what I will do I will go and add this to the interval so this is 1 comma 3 so that's what I am doing here I hope I am clear with this now after doing this what we have to do we have to say after that we have to say the start is equal to now 7 and end is also equal to 7 okay we have to reassign start and end equal to 7 the current value so what we will say start is equal to now start will be equal to the value which we have and end will be also equal to the value I hope I'm clear with this so it will get right to the array and at last oh this is okay I will type it here so at last see so in this case we had seven here so it will finish this loop so what else we have to do we have to again add seven comma 7 so what we will do here we will create again this array and we will we will add this array okay i will tell you wait wait i will tell you don't worry why i am doing this so just assume here we have uh, we have we have added here see first iterate we did we have one here and ending is two, uh, ending is three here so we have created one comma three and at last it finished the loop but we still want another interval which is seven comma seven see here uh, we will iterate to everything and we will find out seven minus three is equal to four seven minus three is equal to four it will go to the else interval and it will add the old value which is one comma three and it will now reassign the start value and end value and we have to again add it here right so we didn't add 7 here that's why we are adding 7 here 
okay it will be 7 comma 7 i hope i'm clear here so what we have to do we have to return the value what we have to do we have to return the value it should be in it should be in this one so what we have to use here we have to use a function called uh, i think so interval it's interval right interval or interval yeah interval interval to array new int the size of the interval the size of the interval and it should be okay let's see if there's somewhere i hope you got each and every line what i did for in this each and every line i hope you got it this is for adding uh, adding the first element and if this is the last element we have to add just run this yeah yeah okay let's see some error comes yeah it got accepted let's submit it yeah, it got submitted i hope i'm clear this i'm clear with this what i did here and what they told and what what we did here so first we did in, in, in what first we did inside the empty stream then we added the stream here then we simply iterate we created a error list here and the start and end will be assigned to one and we have to iterate to every array and we have to see if we find something which is more than uh, more than the one we have to use else statement and we have to add it to the array and we have to add it to the interval and we have to reassign start and we have to reassign end and at the end of the thing we have to assign the start and end to the interval and we will get the output i hope this code is clear and if you like do like this please do like comment and subscribe to my channel it will be great help and thank you for watching keep coding bye